let's solve this uh, seemingly complicated equation. It says solve for x, x to the power minus 2 plus x to the power minus 1 minus 20 is equal to 0. So whenever you have an equation or any equation, try to do what you can do. So well, you should be knowing this rule that x to the power negative n is 1 over x to the power n. So whenever you have a negative index, it swaps its place and becomes a uh, positive index. So here, the first step I can write, this is over 1 and this is over 1. So if you want this negative, if it has to be positive, this is sitting in the numerator, so it has to come in the denominator. So this becomes 1 over x squared plus 1 over x minus 20 is equal to 0. So now I'm looking at it and say, well, can I make all the denominators equal? Well, this has a denominator. So I'm going to, this is x squared, so I'm going to write this as 1 over x squared as it is plus 1 times x over x times x. I'm multiplying both the numerator and denominator by x minus 20 times x squared over 1 times x squared is equal to 0 over or 0 times x squared. Let us multiply the whole thing. Uh, 0 times x squared over x squared. Okay, you don't need to. Okay, let's write this. So let's make all the denominators x squared. So this is 1 over x squared plus x over x squared minus 20 x squared over x squared is 0 over x squared, which is 0. So this is, uh, this is of course silly. Okay, it doesn't matter. Uh, we can be silly, but if, as far as you understand. So what my purpose was to make all the denominators equal. So now the denominators are equal, so I can write the next step like this. 1 plus x minus 20 x squared over x squared is equal to 0. So I can multiply both sides by x squared now, or cross multiplying, so this will become 1 plus x minus 20 x squared is 0 times x squared. 0 times x squared. And 0 times x squared is x, x 0. So this is minus 20 x squared plus x plus 1 is equal to 0. Now, I don't like a negative 20 sitting as a leading coefficient, so I'm going to multiply the whole thing by negative 1. So this becomes 20x squared minus x minus 1 is equal to 0. So now this has become a simple quadratic equation, so I'll start with two brackets. And here I've got 20x squared, so I'll start with 5x and 4x will give you 20x squared. I want negative 1 here and also a negative 1. The two factors which adds and also adds to give you negative 1 is of course uh, I have to put 1 and 1 will only give you 1 but now to decide the sign I want negative 1 here so I'll put a minus 1 here and a plus 1 here. Now just to confirm whether I've done it right this is plus 4x this is plus 4x I hope you can see and if you multiply this to, this is how much? This is minus 5x. And minus 5x plus 4x does give you minus 1x, uh, minus x. And can you see my plus 1 times minus 1 is minus 1. And this and this gives you 20x squared. So now this becomes, so this implies 5x plus 1 is equal to 0 of 4x minus 1 is equal to 0. 4x minus 1, 4x minus 1 is equal to 0. So you can say 5x is equal to negative 1. So x is negative 1 fifth. Or yeah, 4x is equal to 1. 
4x is equal to 1, so x is equal to cot. So these are the two solutions of a basic simple quadratic equation. But the only thing is, when you have an equation like this, students say, well, I don't know what to do. So the same thing, what you have to do is, you have to change this into positive, make the denominators equal, make it a quadratic equation, and solve it.